Hey, how's it going everyone out there? My name is Kieran Tross. This is the Cloud Scholars page. I want to thank you for clicking on this video. What I want to show you today is how to add a regulatory compliance to your uh, Azure portal. So for one thing we're going to do is I have Microsoft Defender for Cloud here. Um, just search for it up here as well. Once the Defender for Cloud loads up, you'll get to the overview page. What you want to do is come down here to this regulatory compliance area. Okay, so before I even dive into what you're going to see on this screen, let's just define what the regulatory compliance is and why it's so important. So regulatory compliance dashboard provides you insight into your compliance posture for a set of supported standards and regulations based on continuous assessments of your Azure environment. So basically what that is saying is you use regulatory compliance to make sure that you are staying compliant with whatever industry that you're in. So if you need to follow NIST 853, then you do that. If you're in healthcare, it would be HIPAA. Um, you might be in uh, FinTech, so you might be using like ISO 27001. 001. Um, so there are uh, multiple different um, regulatory compliance that you need to follow. And it's so easy to set up your configurations in your Azure portal and do things that are improper or that can cause a security gap. So it's extremely important to add the regulatory compliance because what happens is Azure will tell you based on that regulatory compliance and say, okay, you know what? This framework, the security framework that you need to follow, let's just say it's uh, NIST 853, you're not following it because you have storage accounts that have public access, you have services that aren't using private links, et cetera, et cetera. So back over the Azure portal, what we're going to see right now is we can see here, we have a Microsoft Cloud Security Benchmark, which is, that's one that normally comes up. But down here, you have your different regulatory compliance. So you have your Microsoft Cloud Security Benchmark. Right now, we have NIST uh, 853 that shows up. It's going to load up and, you know, it gives us the different areas uh, for compliance controls. We have access control, which we're not doing a good job. We see it as an X there. Um, and then certain things aren't being done correctly. Uh, you have awareness and training. You have, you know, security assessment authorization, identity and author authentication. So there's certain areas that if you click on any of these, it's going to give you some more detail about, you know, where you're messing up at additional assessments. And then it gives you the description subscription. It gives you the services that need to have um, the uh, security uh, set up the right way. And you could go through this whole thing. So let's say if I wanted to come back up here and I went to uh, CIS Azure Foundations. And you'll see it's going to give us some stuff here. So it says virtual machines ensure that OS disks are encrypted. And then it lets you know the virtual machine should encrypt temp disk catches and data flows between compute and storage resolutions. So it's 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 letting you know exactly where you you're not doing well at, so that this way you could go ahead and make sure that you're in compliance. So what I want to show you in this video is how do you go about adding a regulatory compliance to your dashboard. So right here on this top um, button here, you see this uh, manage compliance policies. And there's a lot of other things that you can do here, auto reports, compliant offerings, you can download reports, etc. But I want to show you exactly how you add one. So you just manage compliance policies, and then you're going to go to your subscription. So I have one subscription here. You may have 5, 10, 15, 20 subscriptions. And then once you get to your subscriptions, what you want to do is you're going to go to your security policies. Okay, over here at security policies, what you have is a list of policies that you can use. So there's a couple that's already turned on for me. So it's the Microsoft Cloud Security Benchmark. We have the uh, CIS Microsoft Azure. As you saw earlier, there was a NIST one showing up. So uh, this is right here, the NIST 853. Um, but there's a couple others that you could turn on as well. So if I wanted to turn one of these on, I can just go to PCI DSS. Let's say if I want to turn that one on and I'll go ahead and turn that on and you'll see here it says assign in standard and then assign standard successfully. So now if I come back, the PCI should show up here um, in a little bit. So we're going to give it a little time for it to populate. And we should have a fourth option here for us that will show up. So it sometimes takes a little time for it to come up. So I'm going to stop the video and come back once this um, area populates. Okay, so coming back to the video, we now see if we look here, we have the Microsoft Cloud Security Benchmark, NIST SP800, CIS, and we have the PCI DSS4, which one we clicked on before 
um, to make sure that we have that regulatory compliance associated with our um, our portal as you go through it you can see we're mostly we're getting a lot of green check marks which is good but we have some areas that we do need to um, improve our security posture in order to stay within the guardrails of this compliance which is the PACI DSS 4. So that is how you add a regulatory compliance to your Azure portal. Um, I hope that this information I provided you really helps you out. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave it in the comment section. Or if there's anything that you're looking to learn or understand and need a better understanding within your Azure journey, please send me a message. I've helped tons of other people before and I will be helping you as well. Um, as I said, as I said in many of my videos, I feel like I say all the time, you know, I just want to create a community and help out so that this way we all can, you know, get to where we're trying to get to uh, within this life. So uh, once again, my name is Kieran Tross. I want to thank you for watching this video uh, here at Cloud Scholars. My goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and from consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.